It's so powerful when you can love who you are and you don't look for love from anybody else. I love who I am day in, day out. I wake up with a smile on my face every morning because I'm blessed to be able to get out and inspire and do more than I did yesterday. Take a look at the stars, can reach if you want to. Don't be afraid to change because the people don't want to. Be who you want to. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're at Truman High School in Independence, Missouri. Um, I'm currently here speaking to students about courage, transitioning to adulthood, um, overcoming obstacles, as well as uh, pursuing your passions and believing in yourself. Most of the classes I'm speaking to are special ed classes here and just trying to empower them and teach them what disabled but not really, really means. <laughs> Like, I can, I can start flowing, you know. Being in a wheelchair, I never believed that I could actually do it. I never believed that this was something that um, I was capable of doing. Um, and being able to work out and lose weight, I mean, that was amazing to me. But it was also an impact for my daughter that always seen me defeated. And now she's seeing me make these crazy accomplishments, all because I started to believe who I was. We can still do way more when our minds are different, when we start to believe in ourselves. When I started to believe in myself, I started to love myself. But before that, I wanted everybody to love me when I didn't love me myself. Well, you know how hard that was for someone to try to love you and you hated who you were? But when you love who you are, everybody else loves you because the energy that comes off of you, they want to be around. Because you've accepted everything that you're going through and you're doing so much more. For me, it was amazing to see that when you don't give up and you start to do more than what everybody else believes that you can do, opportunities come your way because the confidence that you have, the mindset that you have, even people around you don't have it. And sometimes we're looking for those people to give us something that they do not have. But we are all special. We all have a gift that someone else don't have. And once you start to see what your gift is, then you become more. You, you become so much more. And you when you believe in yourself, y'all just don't understand. It's so powerful. Like even when I go speaking, when I do anything on social media, my name is I am Wes Hamilton. And that's because I never knew who I was till I was in a wheelchair. So for 24 years of my life, I never knew who I was. So that doesn't mean that, you know, just because, you know, whatever age you are, you haven't found your true gift or yourself, you still have tomorrow. And who you are today doesn't have to define who you are tomorrow. It gave me a different mindset to know that opportunities come to those who create them. And so for me, that opportunity that started to come my way was because I started to create it. Growing up where I grew up, in the streets that I grew up, we never seen opportunity. And, you know, I always thought somebody had to be lucky or something had to be handed to you for you to get it. I didn't ever think about just pushing myself and believing in myself and I would get there. I never thought that I could be a business owner. I never thought that I could, I could, you know, be in front of, you know, big groups of people speaking to them. I never thought that I could be on a platform working out, showing my body when I was overweight my whole life, you know, to now, you know, really like, man, it's crazy. Never thought that. But so many opportunities come your way when you start to believe. It's that little thing of faith that can get you further than what you think you are today. Right on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just finished speaking to like four to six classes at Truman High School. Pretty dope, yeah. Pretty dope. This was like one of the best experiences just to 
uh, motivate and inspire. It's just amazing to know that my story alone is like very impactful. It, it, it touches kids in different homes. It touches, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a special ed student or just a regular student, like I'm able to make that impact. So I feel great, like, man, like my day is, it's amazing right now. Like I'm so ready to do some more. I'm thinking I have a smile as huge all day. Like it's, it's words can't even explain when you can go and inspire children because n nobody was there for me. So. <laughs>
you know, it's, you know, you don't have all these cameras and everything and, you know, so to be able to meet them and tell them what you're doing and them to be excited by it, that's how you build those relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm Wesley. Wesley, good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do, Nick? So today was my first day of swim lessons. Um, really never swam before. I was paralyzed, but wanted to go and, and experience everything. So took up some swim lessons, and I mean it was fantastic. Uh, hopefully next week I don't have to try to use so much of the noodles and flotation devices, but. Uh, I think it, it was great for the first run, and I think that, you know, when you can start to put yourself in a position where um, you become fearless, then it, it makes things a lot easier. Because um, the experience alone, you know, to be in the water and you know that you can't use your legs is one thing, but to be able to go in there and just say, man, I'm gonna just be one with the water and I'm just gonna be calm. Like, man, it was amazing. Like, I had fun. You know, my daughter can swim, so for her to see me practicing, you know, it, it inspires her to know that I'm gonna be able to get in a pool and stuff with her eventually. So I want everybody to know that that's what they can do as well. And challenge themselves, have fun enjoy life and don't think that because you have physical limitations that you have to be limited. The arms need a break or you keep going? Nah, these arms don't need no break. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I teach you that arm movement and you already doing it. Well, you know what? I kind of watch people doing it all the time, so I'm like, might as well try it. With my head tilted back, I could flotate through this clothing. It was so calm and just, I mean, I probably could have fell asleep. You know? Like, it was like literally just crazy amazing. Um, and then when it starts to, you know, starting to backpedal and things and you have to put in a little bit more work and, you know, you kind of get into that uncomfortable spot. But, you know, I think what was good for me was that I like to be uncomfortable. So, you know, once I figured it out, then I'm like, okay, start breathing a little bit better, breathing in and out, you know, figuring it out. and. Just saying, okay, well, you know, you got to do this, you know, and yeah, so it, I think, so it was like being uncomfortable to get comfortable in a situation that you're uncomfortable in, and uh, that's what it, you know, when you have to put in that extra work, that's what really makes it, uh, it made, it made it fun, you know, it was like, man, I got to put in this work, but I got to be comfortable putting in this work. But I'm uncomfortable because I've never put in this work, you know, and so, yeah. And then I was just thinking about my hair <laughs> and my beard. I'm like, I wonder what it's gonna look like with all that water. But you know. Swim in the water with noodles and stuff. <laughs> Biggest accomplishment of 2017. <laughs> <laughs>